Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome back uh, to the Malfoy project. So uh, today um, Today I'm gonna be working on it again, so we're gonna making sure that the tree is gonna be looking fine As you can see the tree looks great now. We're gonna be building it up. So we're gonna go Make some drawings going over here till around I believe that one. Yeah around here. So uh, yeah Let's get started shall we? Anyway um, today actually was a fun day. I actually had to work uh, with some. Um, how do you say? Uh, I need. I had to work with uh, an intern. Yes, I had to teach an intern how to use a three D scanning software. Ooh, very spooky. Because you know, three D scanning software is a very delicate matter. Because it is sometimes difficult to do, but uh, yeah, this first it's just scanning and then you know teaching him how to get all the how to connect all the scans together, and then once we've done that, we actually add, needed to add it the uh, 3D model so that it looks nice and smooth and smooth. So uh, yeah, uh, also um, on uh, other notes, I actually have been working on um, one of all, one of my old drawings, as you can see, I have been working with yellow. Um, what the idea what the what the idea was with this was actually that I updated my um, uh, brush. No, 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 um, not brush. Um, what was it again? The uh, outlines. Yes, I have been working on the outlines. There you go. Man, it's hard to uh, hard to do things properly. So yeah, first things first, we need to remove the drawing, or uh, well, the coloring, and then we can now start on the actual part that we need to work on. So we're going to be just getting this thing up and running. So what do I want? Well, I want this part right here to be drawn in. So this is like a very tough part. I have that in, in there. And uh, we're going to be drawing some more lines again. So we want to get around the part that we had, so around around here, we need to stop, so that's like one, two, probably going to be taking an hour, probably going to be taking an hour because, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's getting the whole drawing up and running properly. As you can see, if I now add this to it, I can see like, oh yeah, I need to be drawing like that. And I can just add the stuff that I want later on. And I can add like a big line right here if I want to and one over here. So yeah, we're just going to add some more lines to it. And then, you know, add little lines near it. So it's going to be like uh, the effect of the wood that we want to get in the first place anyway. Oh, I almost forgot. God damn it. Why do I always forget this? Why do I always forget to put this? Uh, why do I always forget to post this on the Discord anyway? I don't know what it is with me, but I always forget to post it. It's uh, well, it is Monday anyway. <laughs> it's not like you know Monday is like a very hard thing to have, but yeah, Monday is one of those things that when when Monday hits, like I for I always forget that Monday is a thing. It's a very problematic thing, but it's not a very difficult thing to do anyway. It's good to have that. Anyway, um, I will continue, because that's how it works. So now I can continue working on it. So, uh, yeah. I really like uh, how things are getting, getting up. And then uh, once that's all done, well, you know, it's all going to be lovely looking. So, yeah. Get the get the drawing up and running. Get the uh, get the whole root uh, root on up and running, and then you know once once we have the whole uh, root part done, well the bark up and running, then then everything will be fine. But yeah, had a good day. Um, I uh, I went to work. Check. I uh, I went. I was soaked wet when I came uh, back from work because apparently it was actually. Uh, it was actually very, 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 very hard raining, and uh, I didn't realize it until it was too late. It's a thing that can happen, you know, you try to do something and then boom, instantly rain, and it's like, ah, well, uh, that's a thing. 
There you go. Some more wood texture towards it. So you don't always have to uh, rely on wood textures, but you know it, it's it's nice to have some wood textures around to create the effect that we want in the in the drawing itself. So yeah, like that. Lovely. So it's not one toned uh, drawing or one toned uh, thing. So now we can just add this right here. Add add some lines that need to go this way. And yeah. As you can see, all of this all of these drawing all, all of these lines need to be somehow connected, but not fully. They don't have to be fully connected, but they need to be like, you know, split around. So they are representing the bark skin that has like this freckled effect. And I'm very happy about it. Also, uh, I uh, kind of went from point A to point B, so that's good. I'm very happy from that. And hopefully those... Uh, how do I say that? I... Uh, I went. I went to. Uh, I went one to one of the social medias to get things up and running. So I'm gonna get started posting all sort of work on the social medias, but not on you know Facebook or anything. Ugh. How about new? Just you know, casual social media that I trust that it is not like a big giant dumpster fire. So let's hope that will pick up the fruits as well. Of course, you know I'm not very good at you know posting things into secondary places, but normally I don't do that because, well, that's me just doing whatever I do. But, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy upon this, you know, the, the effects already, the amount of work I did today. I actually uh, scanned in uh, a 3D Buddha build, a uh, Buddha model, so a metal Buddha, a Buddha sculpture and... Uh, that actually worked it well. So it was like, you know, it it was fully scanned in and uh, just some little editing and then it was all done. Of course, with the help of the intern. Well, technically I needed to help the intern doing it. But as I always do, I never, you know, I never say no to that because it's always fun to work and help other people improve upon their own skills. He was even admitting it, you know, that he was not very good at it at the beginning, and I was like, yeah, you might not be good at it, but it is quite simple, you just need to follow the simple steps, and then, well, once those steps are done, well, you probably will already have a good, a good model. So, uh, I let him follow those steps, and, uh, yeah, it picked up, the, it uh, created a lot of fruits. It was very good. The effect, the ending of it, the end result, was very decent. I was really, 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 really happy upon the result of it that he booked. So yeah. Now, um, when I came home, of course, I went straight to gaming, and then I realized, like, oh wow, it's already uh, almost seven o'clock when I had my dinner done. So I didn't have that much time to prepare today. Well, that's because I actually work normally from you know, from nine to nine to three, and then around five I come home. So. I guess that's a I guess that's a thing. But the good news is that I'm now actually working quite well. And I'm very happy upon the result on how that worked out. And as you can see, most of this drawing is just, you know, me just drawing up, giving commentary towards it, well not commentary more like, oh what did I do today? Well, I don't know. A lot of things. And I'm very happy upon, you know, getting the result that I already booked in the first place. So yeah. Um Uh what is the planning for today? Oh well to this week. Um probably it's gonna be around, you know, fixing certain types of things. So I'm trying to fix one of the drawings that I made earlier. Uh, this year, I believe, I'm trying to update to see if I can get a better looking model out of it. And once that model is done, then well, we're going to be working towards getting 
uh, getting another thumbnail up and running because well not a thumbnail more like a drawing itself I'm very happy upon that and drawing that idea because I actually want to make a um, how do you say a, a picture for on a t-shirt so therefore I want to give the old I want to make a western a western space um, draw a uh, drawing on a t-shirt so that's that's the difficult part so I'm probably gonna go for a mechanized evil train and then you know put some uh, cowboy in danger <laughs> so yeah probably gonna go for that like evil mechanized train that is very strong and has laser beams and all that stuff I don't know something like that and then have this uh, evil uh, how do you say that? Evil skeleton be the the big bad guy, you know, fading in the background like these, uh, like 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 some kind of movie always do, you know, those cheeky movies that they have like those such like, haha, evil bad guy, good guy, and then you see the uh, event happening. I'm still figuring out what the title is gonna be. Probably something like um, the good, the good, the bad, and the bum, <laughs> and the bumly. <laughs> Or maybe something like you know, chaos in desert land. Nah, yeah, that's actually quite a cool one. Chaos in desert land, and then you have like these events that just happened. Probably that something like that. Or desert adventures. <laughs> desert adventures. That's actually quite fun. Yeah, I really like. Oh, well, um, did I do an oopsie? No, I did not. All right, good. I thought I did an oopsie, but then I realized, like, no, I didn't do that. Because if I do that, then, well, you know, I wouldn't have this kind of effect on the tree. And as you can see, it's all, you know, working around, getting all the stuff done, and making sure that all this works quite well. So, yeah. And we can now see, like, uh, how far do we need to go? Well, we need to go over there. We are now around this part. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of work. But you need to just take it casually because, you know, it, it's wood. So, no need to rush it or anything. And I think I already know where I can put here. I can put here, like, a big, a big log part. Yeah, a big log part. Like something like this. And then go downwards and then upwards there you go as you can see it's it's all about you know fixing parts knowing where to go seeing that the trees are moving quite steadily and then you know get all the stuff that you want into the tree and all the effects that you want in the tree and it's it's getting nice it's getting really really easily done just need to be very prepared upon facing the problems that might occur later on and I always need to make sure that you know I'm not overdoing the um, spin uh, go from one player uh, yeah, this yeah and then you know have this again like this so you have like a split towards two places so I need to make sure that I don't do this I need to make sure that I have like this, then something like this coming up, and then maybe, you know, going this way, like so, and then two sides to this one, and then this one needs to be going away, so that there is like a very um, fluent action of, you know, the tree going upwards, instead of, you know, having these uh, very vague, well, same uh, textures going on every single time. We don't want that. Well, we do want that, but we don't want it too often because otherwise it will look not very nice. So, probably gonna be going like so. Yeah, let's go for this. This is lovely. This is a lovely uh, way of doing things. So, we should shut down this part right here and then get get this up and running. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. So 
So now we have actually a part that needs to be drawn. I should definitely get this a little bit downwards, like so. Yes, excellent. So it's not all the same, you know, it's, it's, it has some variety in the tree. That's very important because if there is variety in the tree, well, you know, you can just draw the tree further. And because there is variety in the tree, well, the tree is going to be looking different. Even though you might, you might think, like, no, it's not. Well, it is, but you need to remember... Uh, you need to be remembering that uh, that the uh, amount of stuff that we're trying to do here is actually quite nice to do. But we just need to make sure that all of this is working well. And as you can see, it works fine. It works really fine, and I'm very happy about it. The more, the more I do this, the better it gets. So, you can see that. Well, this this part right here doesn't need to be there. This part right here doesn't need to be there because we actually merged it into one. There you go. And now we can continue on the big giant root part. And now I need to actually find what I want to do with this. Probably want to go for like something like this. And then Probably gonna be drawing it like so, and then like so upwards. So now I can remove this part, and I can see exactly what I need to draw. I can even go for like, are there any lines that I want to continue with? Yeah. This line right here is a very cool one to go for. So I'm gonna go for that one. And I want to go for this one. And I wanna go for such one right here. And now we can just add the parts that we want. work. Now we need to get this part up and running properly. So now we need to have like this, this effect on there. And now we're just adding the stuff that we need. There you go. Whew. All right, I got this. So as you can see, um, most of the most of the drawing is just you know me drawing strokes upwards and then splitting those lines into two parts, which is true. No denying that, but it does create cool effects because now, as you can see, I can look at this and I can already feel like there is some differences here. There is some some things that I might be liking, like this right here, I could remove a bit, I'll replace it with some, yeah, like that. Replace it with this is actually better than the stroke that is right here. It's better for the, uh, it's better for the look on the on tree itself. Yeah. There you 
Okay. And then once this is all done, well, we have like these parts right here. Let me take peak colored in. And then we have. Now I can continue here. So let's see. Um, boop, 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 boop. What the hell is wrong with my screen? I have no idea why. Alright, hold on. This is not good. Excuse me, software. How are you doing this? How? Yeah, literally, how? How are you doing this? How? What the? Alright. That doesn't look normal. So when did that start? Uh, let's see. That started. It started way earlier, didn't it? No, it did. It. Well, apparently YouTube is, doesn't like me. Yep, YouTube doesn't like me at all. Alright, well, hold on. Be right back. Technical difficulties, I guess. Jeez Louise, what the hell, YouTube? I trust... <sighs> I'm gonna have a nice little talk with YouTube about this. This is why I cannot have nice things, aren't I? <laughs> display no no not trustworthy not trustworthy at all all right well guess who's back cheese louise after two fucking hours of delay don't you love it when you have a realization come on come on come on I really, 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 really don't like you, YouTube. I don't like you at all, but f fuck's sake. Get your shit back together. Ugh. And I'm complaining about things that are not real. Well, too bad for me. I'm complaining about that YouTube is not producing the right amount of stuff for displaying cheese. It's like watching a whole new, le whole new level of cheese without any problems. Alright, well... I'm gonna be looking. I'm gonna just look at the black screen and prepare. It's not there, and I'll I'll see how far I get in the uh, live stream today because f this this threw me off like way too much. And I'm very not liking. Really don't like that when things throw me off like that. So yeah. It's a thing that can happen, you know, that, that YouTube is like a total asshole, but still, whew, I'm not very happy upon what happened. Because the main the main issue that I had with, you know, things like this is like, well, congratulations, YouTube. The the whole the whole problem here is that, that YouTube is not producing the right amount of, uh, well, information. Like, I know now that there is a black screen. Probably everybody else who's looking at the stream is like, oh, well, there is no black screen with my place. And I'm like, yes, that's the main problem. Last time I had this was like, I think, two years ago? Probably. But yeah, the uh, the back screen, the black, the black screen back of Doom is back, baby. For round two of Doom. I guess, uh, I guess one of the most annoying things I, I face with YouTube is that how... How inefficient um, the whole problems are. The all the the the, the stuff is great. All right, the, the YouTube's YouTube's live stream services. Well, they work pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, but 
the display service? Uttered garbage. Garbage to the max. Garbage to the fucking max. I mean, really, if I if I ever if I ever choose between garbage one or garbage two, well, prefer me to go for garbage two because holy hell, I will not not be happy if I have like you know crashing previews while you know the whole damn thing is just working fine. It's like thanks for telling me a lie. I uh, I appreciate that. I'm not very happy about that. Because, you know, it's a lie, and, well, you know, lies are no good. So, yeah. The main the main issue I had with this thing, with the whole stream today, well, is that, you know, the display fucked up, and that that's why I fucked up with my live stream. I thought, like, well, the whole display is gone, so probably the whole live stream is gone. And I was like, no, I do this all for nothing, and then I realized it's not true. And it's like... Phew. Ooh, you son of a bitch, you know. So, uh, next time I'm probably gonna kick uh, YouTube's, uh, YouTube, YouTube's, uh, bloody damn face in again once, once he does that again, because <laughs> I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I despise it as, uh, with a passion. So, yeah. Now that we drew the beautiful bark. Ooh, fancy bark. Almost fancy bark. There you go. More fancy bark. We can now fill it up with fancy lines. Ooh, fancy lines. So um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna focus on uh, drawing and then hopefully you know the preview will be back. But I doubt it. I pr I definitely doubt it right now because I'm sick and tired of looking at a bloody damn black screen. I can show you. I can definitely show you how this looks on my end. Just to give you a quick look. Behold! Black screen! And there you go. And we're gonna move it back. So yeah. Uh, YouTube doesn't like me to show previews. Absolutely not. So technical difficulties. Well, it happened again. Oh boy. And I thought I was gone for them. But no. Let's hope it doesn't do it again. But uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody's out. I hope everybody's day is great because of I had a great day, but not with YouTube. I had a great day at work. I had a great day walking to work. I had a work great day walking away from work. Once I was done with work, I had a great day going into the train, talked to some people. Had some great day when I came or went to work. I also talked to some people. So my uh, my daily daily retreat my daily my daily base of human interaction was great i'm not very good at uh, talking so that's why but the good news is that well you know i have been working already for a long time and uh, i'm very happy upon how much i already increased upon getting better at the work also troubleshooting is like no problem whatsoever anymore because well photo uh, for the photo memory really helps with that really helps Anyway, um, so yeah, that's lovely. Alright, now we've done that, we can now continue here and get that bark up and running. And we don't have to you we don't have to get everything correct. That's the main issue. The main issue is that we don't have to get any, everything correct, but we want to have some um, uh, ideas that we want to press onwards while we're working on this bark skin, because it doesn't always have to be like, you know, oh no, it's that part, or that part that needs to be done. No, 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 no. We just need to follow the bark skin a little bit by bit and get some lines in there don't have to be always the same lines, it don't have to be straight lines all the time. It can be like very murky ones, it can be long ones, short ones. It all depends on how, you know, the lines work, or how the lines hold out in late, in, later on. It's all about, you know, getting the lines to form up, to create the shape that we want. And the shape right now is, you know, this big giant bark skin. And to make sure that that box skin is correctly well, then you have that. 
I'm just gonna be double checking just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Double check. Double check. Just in case to see if the if the stream is it's actually working. Yep. It's working fine. All right. Thank you. Me for double checking. So yeah. Um, the box skin needs to be done properly, and uh, like you know, like like you te you like to like you teach a little dog new tricks. You need to be patient about it, because eventually you know, once you get the idea of box skin on the control, like you have like this effect, and you want this effect to be well realized multiple times, then well, you need to train that. Yes. Like I do it right now with the Mothal project because it's it's a really good project. It's a really fun project. It's a learning curve for me to get towards where I want to be in in, in later on. And uh, the more the more I work on this, the better I get at it. So you know, the more I do this, the better. But it also drains a lot of energy. Don't get me wrong, this this takes a lot of energy. It doesn't take a lot of patience, it does take a lot of energy, because you know I'm a very patient person. It's a uh, it's one of my uh, key words. Yeah. I can take it very slowly. I am actually the most uh lax person ever. It's uh, it's one of those things that you know you do for you do for fun. I mean really. If I ever came across some work that I have to do, I probably, you know, think like, hmm, who could I shove this towards? Because, you know, I don't want to do this work. But if I want to do this work, then it's like, how can I do this with at least amount of energy? And then, you know, then that whole thing comes around. But it's not that I'm lazy. It's more like I'm really, really, really into... You know, figuring out how much time it takes to get that thing from point A to point B, and then how much time I I lost within it, and what I can do in the meantime while waiting. That's why I really like it, because I also like how um, the effects on certain decisions I make is like, well, I could watch a I could watch a movie today. Why? Because I need to wait one whole hour on my work, and. Well, you know, that actually works well. I could do something else while working, that's also true. But it depends all on, you know, what and how. It all depends on where I'm going to be looking for it. And as you can see, the more I work on, the more, the more, the more lines I lay down, the better it gets. It's not, of course, not a full correct way of doing this. There are so many, many errors in this because, well, you know, I'm not very expertise in drawing wood that good but you know I feel like this this does has the texture and feeling of wood so therefore you know I succeed at it and you know s succession can come in small doses it, d it doesn't have to be always perfect it just needs to be you know really good or no wait that's not right uh, it just needs to be good for your eyes, so it needs to represent the thing that you want to represent. If it doesn't represent the thing that you want to represent, then well, you know, you failed. You need to start over, you need to find a new way of drawing it. For instance, if you if you draw something very basic, like a shape, like a square, yeah, like a brick. This doesn't look like a brick, it looks more like a, looks more like a dinosaur with a mouth and some chumpy teeth, you know? And then, you know, you have, now you have a dragon. With a big giant horn. And then, well, you know, when you remove the teeth, then you have a rhino. And then you can go for this, yeah. It it it, do, it doesn't look, you know, it all depends on how much, what you want to represent. So, the better you get at it, like, you know, this, this could be a brick. This could be a brick. It's very square. It doesn't need, need anything. And then, you know, you can add some detail towards it, like, you know, this, and then... Some detail right over here, and then you know, add some more, uh, well, size to it. Like there you go. And now, you could say, yeah, this this represents a brick. And well, of course, it's not fully done, but you get the point. 
it, it, you need to have it done in such a way, you need to, have, you need to finish the drawing, or well, done the, the drawing part of it, in such a way that it, that it represents the thing that you want to represent. I want to represent this as a tree, so therefore I need to draw the bark skin. But, to draw the bark skin, I need to find a way to make it properly work. So, therefore I went with this kind of a, a effect, like this uh, line effect that, you know, splits other parts again into multiple lines. So all these lines that you follow split up in multiple lines. So you literally have this kind of effect. And then multiple again, and then multiple again, and multiple again. That will fill up the whole area of, you know, a hand or whatever you need to be drawing. Like a gorilla butt. <laughs> but that is not that is not how, you know, it it, it it's it's not it's not a it's a very clear explanation, don't get me wrong. It's a very clear explanation right now. Oh man. I'm terrible at explaining what these with these things. Probably everybody's like, Yeah, sure man. But yeah. The more the more you work on this, the better you improve upon it, the more you you the more you improve upon it, the more you learn. But you always need to make sure that you learn. So therefore, you know, if you want to if you want to learn something very badly, don't push it. Just, you know, go with the flow. See where uh, see where you are stuck at, and then just wait a bit. Just try to do it in baby steps. Like not everybody can do it in instantly in one go, because then you will get might. Well, you might be overflowing with work, so you will have work tension in your head. That is not very good because it actually d decreases the un amount of creativity. Because well, stress does that. So you don't want to have an overflow. You don't want to have an overflow of uh, uh, well. Work emotions, I guess. Work emotions, probably that's the word. You don't wanna, you don't wanna create a block. You don't, you don't want that. It's, it's bad. It's really bad. It's not good. It's absolutely garbage. So take it by baby steps. Like for instance, like ah, well, I might not be able to do. I can might be not be able to do this in one go. Well, well, uh, let's let's try with only one bit of it, like this square box. And then once that box is done, well, my brain is like, well, this box was easy. Well, we can do another box. And then, you know, you continue with the next box. It's, 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 that, it's that easy. You just need to trick your mind on thinking like, oh, well, if it is that easy, well, we can continue on the next part. And that's how I do it, at least. I, I'm, I'm thinking not, I'm not thinking in the whole perspective like, oh, my God, I need to draw this, that, that. No, the only thing I need to draw right now it's just this. This is my homework. And if I done this homework right here, I'm good to go. I will be A-OK -okay in whatsoever. So once this is done, tomorrow we will just take a look at it and see how far we got it. So it's like, um, it, it, we're going to look at the, uh, we're going to look at how it turned out to be. So we're going to draw the color over it and then we're gonna see like ah well where it needs to be improvement where it does not need an improvement and then we're gonna see how we can try to get the colors up and running properly it's one of those things that well talking makes it easy <laughs> but yeah um it's very nice to see how much we already have with this Morpha project and the Morpha project is like a very big a big project Yes, as of course it's a big project because like, you know, it's almost a year, well, 160, 156 day, uh, days of work already. So, yeah, it's a lot of work. But you know what? It's worth it. <laughs> it was worth it all around because, you know, I learned how to draw a fucking muff. I also learned how to draw a hog. So I learned how to draw feathers, yes. I learned how to draw feathers, I learned how to draw wood again, so that's also important. I learned how to draw rocks more properly. And thanks to the church project I did, it actually even was way easier than before. Because with the church project, uh, I had to learn how to draw stones. And well, when you have stones, there is only a small step from going from a stone to a rock. Ooh, I know, right? It's very spooky. 
but it's a small step and uh, with the boat project for instance I learned how to divide my steps I learned how to divide the amount of work I did with the heavily detailed amount of drawing of course you know when when I draw do the heavily amount of detailed drawings then well you know things might go big I learned also how to prevent that from happening I learned when to collapse certain a certain amount of uh, detail I learned how to uh, create more detail in, later on and it's it's very nice to see how all of this turned out to be like for instance we have now this big giant opening right here that needs to be filled in but we don't want to fill it in just yet we just want to fill it in like it is in the way of how this works so we need to fill it up like it is literally made from the tree so that's why, you know, you have these lanky, lengthy noodles that need to be connected. Of course, you know, you don't need to have all of the noodles connected, you just need a, a couple of them. And then we can remove this part right here. And then we can put this right there. Yes, excellent. So the amount of noodle the amount of, you know, the amount of things that can happen in this kind of drawing is very important. And it's very important to learn from whatever you're doing in the first place like my m my end goal is quite easily i want to draw i want to draw a whole damn well game that's exactly what i want to do i want to create a game i want to create the animations for the game and i want to create the artwork for the game and well the writing for the game as well the main problem is how the hell do i do that well that's the main issue yes you don't know you just don't know, right? You don't know how to do it. Well, that's true. But if you just take the baby steps and go make it tiny, well, you add up the things that you need to learn. Like, for instance, I need to now learn how to do proportions. It might be a very difficult thing to do, yes. It's it's one of the most difficult things I'll ever, 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 ever face because I can draw humans for jack shit. And, well, learning how to draw humans, that's a... That's a very, very, very big step. But I do this step quite easily. I, I just split up the work, get better at it. Now I'm actually improving upon the work that I did before. So I'm actually improving upon the artwork that I did beforehand. So getting from one point to another, and then from the other point to the another, and then from the other point to the another, then, well, things get much better. And so, yeah... Just casually working towards your goals, casually working towards whatever you need to want to do. Like, you want to learn how to read a book? Well, congratulations. Just pick up a book and read it. But if you get tired of reading the book, well, just put it aside and read it again tomorrow. If that does sound like a very amount of work, then, well, just pick up the book every day, but only read, like, probably two pages. That sounds easy enough. And two pages might not sound like very much. But in the end, it's a lot. Because you will have eventually gained your goal. I, uh, For instance, I'm a very, very bad person when it comes to reading. So I took, I took a book out of the closet and I was like, well, what kind of book do I want to read today? Well, I don't know. A book. That's for sure. So I looked in my info I looked at my uh, informative books and I was like, well, what kind of book would I want to read that is easy to take with me on the train? And I saw, well, one of the books. And I thought like, well, I'll take this book. And now every day I'll use that book to read in the train. I only read like maybe two pages or three pages on the one go and then three pages on the out go. But right now, the, the whole book has 300 pages. That is a lot for me. But I'm already at halfway. So, yeah. And of course, you know, because it's an informative book, it's also very, very, very nice to learn about what, what, what the book is about. Well, the book was about war. It's great. Just a book about war, yes. And about all the things that can happen in war. All the things that are not supposed to be happening in a war. All the things that can happen in war that you don't want to see. 
all the things that how allies, you know, went from one point to become enemies on the other point, and then, you know, sideways, one way, other way, you know, all of that stuff. How economics fell, or how economics went from one point to the other. How governments collapsed, and explaining exactly how that went. It's it's very informative to see such idea uh, well such things to go uh, go around, and it's very nice to see that well you know when you're reading it, you're not quite aware of all the stuff that happened, but once you're done reading it, you will learn, you know everything because you just took your damn time finishing that book. Because the best way of learning is not by putting it into your face. No, the best thing of learning is just repeating. Uh, well, doing casual work. So it's like, read two pages of your work, read it, learn it, and then continue on the next part. Because you will remember it. You might remember it vaguely, but once there is a test about it, trust me, boom, instantly you will remember what the hell you were talking about. It's very important that you uh, that if you want to learn something, do it with, do it with a passion. It's far more fun. And for more enjoyable, I must say myself. Anyway, um, I am done with the part that I drew. And as you can see, the uh, the big giant uh, YouTube page is not loading yet. Because, well, it's never load. It's, uh, it's annoying. Because that's how bugged out the uh, stream for today was. Great stream, I must say myself. I learned myself that I'm not supposed to trust you, but... I almost had trust in YouTube. Yeah, no, no. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next time, I hope uh, this uh, bug won't occur and uh, we can just, you know, wave it off like, ah, it was just an accident. So, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye!